M68 Outreach has, has invited folks to share their discipleship stories. You may think of this as you're volunteering, but truly, when you are working for the common good, following the teachings of Christ, you are a disciple. Today, we look forward to hearing from Carol Atkinson. Thank you, Carol, for your time this morning and for your work in the community. Good morning. Uh, first of all, thank you to M68 for inviting me to speak today. I'm here to tell you a little, about, a little bit about a group called Just a Bunch of Friends. Um, a recent E! News edition began with the sentence, Discipleship is about choosing to be led by the Spirit, keeping generosity at the heart of our actions as best we can. And indeed, generosity is at the heart of everything this group does. My involvement with JBF, as we call ourselves, uh, came about, not surprisingly, at the invitation of a friend uh, who had already been an active member of the group for some time. My friend Jane knew that I had previously worked with a homeless population and that I enjoyed volunteering in the community, so she knew that this group would be a very good fit for me. Uh, JBF has been around for about uh, eight years. They are not affiliated with any other community organization or group. Uh, they simply saw a need to help some of the most vulnerable people in our city. Um, everyone involved, as, of course, has a connection with another volunteer in the group, and our volunteers run from seniors uh, right through to young children. Some of our volunteers bring their grandchildren along, um, which I believe is, is a great uh, lesson for them to see from a young age. Um, presently, about four to six volunteers go out twice a week on Wednesday evenings and on Sunday afternoons. On these outings, uh, snack bags are prepared and given out to anyone who requests one. The bags might, will include a sandwich, a drink, a piece of fruit, um, hopefully some baked goods, maybe nuts, hard boiled eggs, protein drinks. It entirely depends on the donations received week to week. Uh, so one or two volunteers, they prepare about 300 sandwiches for each outing. That's how many that we go through. Um, and again, the selection, there could be five or six, depending on the donations. We also receive donations from um, other social service agencies and sometimes Metro. Again, there'll be baked goods, breads, maybe some deli items um, as we help both people who are unhoused and housed. So any little bit of extra food they can get, they do appreciate. Uh, when available, we hand out toiletry items um, as well as clothing, predominantly on Wednesday evenings. Again, anyone can help themselves to whatever they have a need for on that particular day. Uh, with regards to the clothing, um, Teresa, who's the leader of our group, has a big double garage at her home. Um, it used to be half to two-thirds filled with donations of clothing. Um, unfortunately, a couple of weeks ago, they handed out the last of the summer clothing that they have on hand. Um, so when needed, I will help out on usually on a Sunday afternoon. Um, our first stop is always in Old East Village um, at 1 p.m. When we arrive to get set up a little bit before one, there is always a lineup of people waiting for us. A uh, few of the people in line are always quick to jump in, help us get set up, set up the tables, and get organized because the quicker we get organized, the quicker they can get the food that they so badly need. Uh, once we've served all the people at that location, we pack up our cars, go to a different location, and we do it all over again. Um, as I said earlier, like the postal service, whether rain, um, sunshine, blistering heat or snow, we go out. Even on Christmas Eve, uh, the tradition is to pair crock pots of chili as a special hot meal, um, and it is served into the evening. Um, while most of the volunteers in JBF do not consider themselves as religious, nothing will bring a smile to their face faster than when the recipient of a snack bag or some clothing looks at them and says, God bless you for what you are doing. Uh, they are good disciples who have, do have generosity of heart, or generosity at the heart of everything they do. 
They are definitely salt of the earth people who are affirming in every action and interaction they have with those who are struggling to survive day to day. They go above and beyond to help those in need and get to know each person by name and will prepare special packages for an individual if they know of a special need. As their Facebook page says, they are real people helping real people. As with many other organizations over the last several years, their donations have dwindled. Um, so on behalf of the group, a heartfelt thank you to M68 for your generous donation that you are providing. Uh, I know they will be good stewards of these funds to provide as much assistance as possible um, to the community that they serve. Thank you.